Today we're doing a Community USA. This map was just published today, Halloween of 2022. And it's a project that's been going on in the US GeoGuessr Discord for a long time. It's in this channel here. And right now everyone's showing their scores and their Google Maps. It's already reached 1,000 plays. It's at 1.1k plays. It has over 10,000 locations, and there is a lot of community effort put into this. So let's just see how it goes. We're going to be playing No Moving. we got no fronts. Neither of these plates are Florida, but like this like has to be Florida, right? I guess it could be like New Mexico or something. And that would make more sense for like this cyan plate, but that's not really like cyan. And like the rest of these, I think would be yellow, and this is just white. What if that's the Arizona plate? Oh yeah, that that is Arizona. Yeah, I think someone put this in an attempt to bait, which it almost got me. Yep. <laughs> yeah. If I wasn't looking at the plates, I would have probably gone Florida there. So Oak and La Mesa. Mullen, okay. I've definitely heard of that before. And it looks like we're in Texas based off this front plate. So let's just search Western Texas. Okay, well let me just make sure that we're actually in Texas because it could... Ah, yeah. The rest of these are saying New Mexico. So this could be New Mexico too. So let's try to find Mullen, New Mexico. Let's just go El Paso, see what it is. Okay, it is Midland. Okay, of course, there's just no Mullen on the map at all. Might not even be a city. We can't really tell much from this place. Uh, maybe we're down here. Like, this just screams, like, down here. We need more on, like, this side, because there's less red soil. And it's just Texas, of course. Hunger Ford. Los Colinas. Yeah, that's that's a Texas-sounding name. It doesn't even really look Texas. Like, that's the thing of it. I almost want to go Midwestern. And it is Texas. Okay, it's Dallas. A lot of these locations were picked to be tricky, so... Eastern Saloon. Yes, this is Pennsylvania. Okay, well, we're definitely in a place called Easton, so... Is for which state this is? Is that, like, Idaho plate over there? Let's look for an Easton, Idaho. It's probably gonna be out here, if it's in Idaho. Now, in terms of landscape, I was thinking, like, Colorado to begin with. So let's check Colorado. But wait, it might not even be out west. Like, it, this might be the Appalachians. Uh, no, I don't think it is. Ah, oh, okay, it's Washington. Yeah, Easton, Washington. I've heard of that place, actually. Yeah, I'm mad. Okay, next game. Let's try to do a little better. And we're in New York. Well, actually, there's one New York plate, and the rest of it's not New York, so... Oh, there's a couple of them. There's some. And, like, I don't think that this would be after 2020, because this is Gen 3. Champlain National Park. Well, I know where, like, Champlain is. Oh, wait, it's National Bank. Like, we might be on the Vermont. I don't... I see like there are any green plates though, so I'm gonna go on the New York side. Yeah, it's out here by Serena the Lake. Oh well yeah, we got these things coming from the sky. This is the Lexington fence thing, but this is not Lexington, this is probably Ocala, Florida. Because I've found that they're actually really common in Ocala, Florida as well. I don't know if it's as common as Lexington, but they do have these down there. And it is. Yeah. I think down over here, they have them sometimes. 84th Terrace. Stop signs, stop signs. There is a front plate, or is there? I don't know, can't tell from that. This one's a sticker, definitely, so I don't think this place requires fronts. Well, this could be, like, literally anywhere. I don't know, like, Ohio, maybe? Like, what, Virginia? No, wait, not Virginia. Doesn't seem southern, though. Could also just be, like, Kentucky itself. I wouldn't be surprised if it is. Like, we're clearly in a bigger city here, considering there's 84 terraces. Like, I don't even think we have terraces out here. Oh, okay, it's Kansas City. Whatever, fair enough. Okay, US 2, that makes it easy. We got a different ATV route sign. That's not the Wisconsin one. Well, actually, I mean, I guess it could. I guess that could be the sign. It just, like, has the other thing, too. Looks like go-karting. Yeah, US 2 is up here, so probably is northern Wisconsin. Anything else we can do to tell? Any roads? Can't read anything. Okay, it's down here. In the city of Poplar. Okay, we got the Minnesota plate immediately. The rest of these are looking pretty blue. Yeah, this might just be Minnesota somewhere. 11th Street. Northwest. Okay, yep, we do have the north stuff going on. 6th Avenue. Where is 6th Avenue? It's just kind of like nowhere. Like, it should be like northwest. Well, the numbers are gone now, so whatever. Okay, it was Rochester. 
20,000 points, the new personal best, and we're gonna play one more game. Okay, stop signs, nope. Uh, the thing is white though. Sad is that Sadiesville? That would place us right here, and that definitely makes sense. Like we're in the hills here, we got this stuff. Search I can't really see the streets. It's a short name, so it could just be Pike. Actually, I think that says Maine. That does make sense because it goes northeast. And this one just goes like almost dead east. What put it here? I like the postal service is there. Like there's a Christian church, so that would put us right here. Yes, okay. 71st, North 71st East Avenue. Another one of these roads. Great. That looks sort of Indiana-ish plate, but I don't think this is Indiana. Like, there's nothing else. Like, I might just go Missouri, because there's sometimes these flat Missouri rounds in the north. And it's Tulsa. Okay. I could see that. Just couldn't really tell. Okay, well, this is a 5k. Or even is 25. Like, there's 23, 29. Am I seriously not finding 25? I found, like, every 20 highway ever, except 25. I found 23, 27, 29... 22, no 25, nothing. If we can find Georgia State Route 67 too, that would be good. What's behind us? Oh, we're actually west on 80. Okay, that helps a lot, actually. So it's the intersection of 80 and 25. So we look for where 80 meets up with that. Ah, uh, here it is. Yeah, that's it. Okay, now this one, we have this brace thing, so I'm leaning more towards New York. Like, northern New York because of this brace on the sign. Oh yeah, that that is New York. That's literally it. That's the meta. Okay, US 6, US 95, Reno. Here's 95, here's 6. We kind of meet up in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I guess this could be the middle of nowhere. It just doesn't really look like it. Uh, there's supposed to be stuff here. Uh, there's this California road that doesn't exist. Well, let's keep looking for another meetup. Well, we left Nevada. Okay, it was 95, Oh, yeah, I don't know how I missed that. Whatever, pretty decent game, 22k, so that's probably gonna be it. Now that I've played the map a couple of times, it's time for me to leave a review. There isn't really much you can do to make a map bad, as long as it's mostly Google coverage, so no Ari. Besides one photo sphere that was still rather cool, I didn't have any issues with that. I do really like the diversity of the map. There's a lot of urban locations, rural locations, a lot more pinpointable locations than say, arbitrary, which is mostly in the middle of nowhere. And it will be interesting to see how this plays in the GeoGuessr, a Community USA tournament on the 6th. It's a Team Duels tournament, and I'll be in it. I'll make a video on that. Anyways, see you next time.